I have an ink pad tip to share with you today. Has this ever happened to you? You're working and you're working and you have a lot going on and you have, you're using a, a stamp and it's one color and then you go to another ink pad and you go like this and you go, oh! uh-oh, what do you do? Now, I will be honest with you, this happens a lot. Now, it also even happens to me. <laughs> But you see me a lot of times, I always cover my ink pads, I try to always cover my ink pads, but I'll be honest, this has happened to me. Now in the past, I would just go wah, and I would throw it away and I would buy a new one, or, but I have a tip to share with you. Now you know I like to use these, and I won't show you the brand because that's not right, but big box store, the cheapest one out there, cheapest diapy wipes you can find, I like the yellow just because I like the smell, but you can get in the red can also. At my local store, I almost said the name, it's like $1.64 for a whole can. Now normally when I'm gonna clean my stamps, I just use a little tiny piece like this and I clean it off like that. And sometimes if this isn't very dirty, I even put it back in the can and save it for later. So I have my nice clean stamp, but I have a sad looking ink pad, right? Well, let's bring that guava ink pad back to life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brand new wipe and I'm simply just going to start wiping it away. And you're gonna say, oh my goodness gracious. Now, it's not ruined, don't worry, you don't have to throw this ink pad away. But you'll probably have to re-ink it after we kind of soak up all of this. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just kind of wiping away that black ink, and I'm gonna get another wipe. So for the cost of a two or three wipes, you're gonna get a brand new ink pad, don't worry. So the world is not gonna end. So I'm just gonna kind of clean it, and I actually, even though I stamped in the middle, I'm really going along the whole ink pad itself because I kind of want all of the ink to dissipate and get out of there, and I want it all to still be the same color. So I don't want it to be really, really bleached out in one spot. And so I'm just gonna kind of make sure that I get it nice and clean, just like that. And now this is gonna be a little lighter because look at how much ink I've gotten all over my hands and in the wipe. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to want to use my refills to, to add more ink to this ink pad. But just so you know, this is, does still have enough ink in it because you know my ink pads are very juicy loosey. It still has enough ink in it to stamp, but I like mine really juicy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into my ink pad uh, refills and let's find the right one. We have them all, oh, guava. <laughs> we have them all in the little drawer. Okay, and so I used to have them back here on the thing, but sometimes it would fall, so now I keep them like this. Now, how do you add ink to these? I get that question actually a lot. In all honesty, there's no, right, there's no wrong way, there's no right way. I guess you could add the whole bottle and that would be a wrong way, but what I like to do is I just like to, especially where it's really dry, you can kind of tell, I just add ink like this and I kind of rub it in as I go. Now, Faleen does it a little differently than I do. I'll show you my way first. And I'm kind of squeezing the bottle just lightly. And then without squeezing the bottle, I'm just gonna run over it like this. And you'll see the little bubbles because there's so much ink being put into this ink pad. They are such great little sponges. So I'm just gonna kind of rub it in just like that. Now, instead of using the tip like this, Faleen uses a stamp which is great too. And you can, because that's a bigger surface. So if you want to, you can just rub your stamp along the surface. Now, chances are you probably added, like I did, a little bit too much ink, but that's okay. It's always better to have too much ink. Look, I used what, maybe four drops from my refill. These last forever, they're fantastic. So as you can see, I probably added a little too much. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe some off. And then I always use a piece of scratch paper, digging in my trash once again, I'm known to do that. I'm going to use a scratch piece of paper and just kind of get extra ink off. And you can see I have a lot of bubbles there so I know I have plenty of ink. I wanna do that three or four times just to make sure I get all the extra bubbles out. One more time. And now you can't even tell that I added that black ink in there. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that fantastic? Brand new ink pad. Just buy the refill. You never have to replace your ink pads and your refills will last you so long. I don't think I've ever gone through a whole refill before. I'll have to, I, no, I haven't, I never have. Now this one of course is still really messy so I will get my wipies out to clean this one. So the next time you go whoops and use the wrong color on that ink pad, never fear. Couple 
little wipies here and a refill and you are ready to go once again. Thanks so much for joining me for this ink pad tip by Stephanie Bernard. Bye bye. Yeah.